Good morning, everybody. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Today, what are we are doing? Some of you may know already that the Highlands we brought in because we were making a bit of a mess outside. We're looking at like the 13th, 14th of March, I think today. And Harriet is due in just over two months. Minnie is due in, I think, three to four. I can't really remember. I've got the dates written down. So we're going to have to wean these calves off. But this needs to happen to give these cows a rest before they have the next calves because feeding the two little ones, because they are still feeding them, is uh, taking a lot of the toll out of them and they don't get a rest. Some of you may know of two ways of weaning calves off. One way, I'm going to suckle herd, one way is to take the calves away from the cows and you put them on the furthest away of the, on the farm, so you take them away as far as they possibly can, so they can't see each other and they can't hopefully hear each other, because the problem is they will bawl. Second way is someone commented when we brought the highlands in and reminded me of this way, because we don't really do this a lot, we don't have a lot of suckler herds, suckler cows. What we're going to do, we're going to try a high welfare suckler herd. Suckler weaning process, high welfare weaning process. That's what we're going to try. So what we're going to try is put the smaller highlands next to the bigger highlands. The so the mothers against next to the daughters. Going to do this so they can still see each other. They can still kind of lick each other, but it should just stop Flora and Toffee suckling on the two mothers. So this hopefully, the cows should start drying themselves off, having a bit of a rest period. They can chill out. But again, they can, they can lick each other. Hopefully this works. We're gonna try this. This is the first time that we've ever tried this. So that's the plan. We're gonna try and wean them off. First job is gonna be trying to get the two calves off, which um, might be a bit of an event. Hopefully it'll be nice and easy, fingers crossed. What do you think is gonna be, Dad? Yeah, I think it'll be easy enough. We'll just put them around, get them in this extra bed, and let's make sure the two pens cannot get back together. Yeah, if you didn't hear that, easy enough. Make sure that the two pens don't like fall apart. Make sure that they can't actually suckle each other. They, they should fall a little bit, but nothing like they normally do. If anyone else has used a suckle herd before and wean them off, this is possible if you've got, say, up to 30, maybe max, not even that, say 15. You start weaning off 100, as in the big suckle herds, you're going to have an issue. Right, let's see how well this works. Climb over which way? Yeah. Steady. Shh, 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 shh. Well, well, you wait there, you wait there. You wait there. You stay there. Shh, 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 shh. Come on. Good girl. Steady. Watch yourself. Steady. Yeah. Wanted to do that, but the way around. There we go. Nice and easy, steady. I think you'd leave it like that, so they can get some water and food. Is it we have weaned them off that is officially weaned hopefully the little ones can't get to the big ones but if you've noticed they're all really quiet when you've weaned suckler herds off before they're very loud because they're away from the mums here they can see each other they can lick each other i think this is a good idea that we've tried like i said we've never really had a suckler herd properly have we dad no. so we've never really tried this we've 
Obviously, we know the, the old ways of doing it, but this is like a new way. Going to give it a, a go. Hopefully, we'll find out in the next week. If they haven't got to each other in the next week, it will have worked. The two little ones are going into some meal now, and the big ones are not even bothered. Normally, the big ones would stress quite a lot, wouldn't they? Yep. Yeah. And the little yeah. ones would. Well, they're both having meal, and hopefully, uh, as you can see, they'll get used to being without each other, without having meal. They'll have more meal than little ones. We'll be able to wean, put them on a sort of not as good a diet, make them eat some more roughage, help dry them up, help them take the condition off them a bit. And then these two, they'll get used to not drinking milk, and they'll be easier to separate in the future. Yeah. What we can do later on, when they have been weaned officially, after about two months you'd yeah, say no, no, you could yeah. put them together again oh you could yeah. do but they would not suckle again they wouldn't suckle that's what i mean you could put them back together after they just realized that they don't need any more milk so and the mothers won't have them back on again a they've no milk and they'll be getting ready for the next they they want, so they'll just they'll just they'll just bat them off a bit yeah so this is, this is a great result next job is to try and halt the train the little ones that's your job <laughs> you want to halt to train them you halt to train them I Any, anyone you, want to give me a hand trying to halt to train them i think you'll struggle <laughs> you thought tagging them was difficult watch the tagging video wait till you see them trying to put a halter on them no way baby i think i think it'd be a good idea it'd be nice to get a halt train i'm going to try i'm going to give it my best try yeah. that is the uh, that is the attempt to halt train that's been in a lot of videos lately so. <laughs> well, Dad's on the farm a lot lately. Dad's on the farm all the time. When he's doing a video, Dad's doing the farming. It's as simple as that. Okay? <laughs> anyway, they look quite cute in here, and they look well. Um, they're going to settle down. The mother's now thinking, why are the other side of the fence? But she'll get used to it. At least she can see it. We'll tell from the house when there's a lot of ball in the morning. Going <laughs> You'll on. tell from the shop. Yeah. If you hear from the shop and you hear a lot of balling, we'll tell. there'll be these guys. But I am well impressed with this. This is simple, easy. Round the gate, not pretty pens, but they're useful. <laughs> they do the job, don't they? They do but the like, job. How quiet they are, how much they're bothered. It's just yeah. amazing. Right, guys, that is it. Hopefully you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. Give it a thumbs up. If you're watching this on the Pemberton's Facebook page, give the Pemberton's Facebook page a like, share it with your friends, and hopefully I'll have these halter trained in May, maybe? <laughs> Fingers crossed, probably not. Just a little bit of an add-on to the end of that video. This is a week later than I made the first video of weaning them off. And these guys have not complained one bit at all. Really like what we did. This is such a great way of doing it. So the two, they know they're still there. They've got, they can like, lick each other and touch each other. But they can't suckle on the calves, can't suck on the cows. Cows are chilled, calves are chilled. Haven't started looking at halter in them yet, but we'll look at that future. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update at the end of the video of how it's worked and I am going to give it an A+, plus. worked really well, and everything seems happy. So, thank you very much, see you in a bit.